this such out. I wonder if old Punch is still mining the store. Ah! Oh, damn it! Ah, bitch! Still here. Hello. Chantal. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, Doug, I'm, I'm Doug. Do you have a car, Doug? I beg your pardon? A car. I replaced the horse a few years ago. Oh. Do you have one? Yeah, sure. I've got a car. Good, then you can take me home. Now? That's what I saw in you right away, Doug. Brains. Sorry, buddy. The ladies' dance card is full. Got a problem with that? Uh, no, no, I don't have a problem with that at all. I was just leaving. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Doug. You. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey, hey, what's going on here? Check it out. Check it out. Why don't you leave the lady alone, huh? Why don't you mind your own business? Hey, look, look, look. You and me, we can settle this outside. Yeah, I would. But midget tossing is so passe. <laughs> hey. Did you ever hear the story of David and Goliath? Yeah, David was a kid. You're old enough to be my old man. Yeah, which means you should talk to me a little nicer, you know? Respect your elders, or, or didn't they teach you that in reform school? <laughs> <laughs> what can you do to me? Servant. Hey, Punch! Punch, you still here, eh? Still standing, you mean? Do I know you? You don't remember me? No. Does this look familiar? <laughs> you kicked me out of here so many times, I figured this is the one part of me you would remember. Cochran, Nick Cochran. Nick! How the hell are you? Me and my buddies, we used to come hey, here Punch. all the time, late 70s. Yes, yeah, so they finally let you out of the hospital, huh? And he's a funny guy, too. Dude. <laughs> no, no, I promote rock bands now. I'm in town with uh, with Octavian. Octavian? What's that? You can still smoke them, don't you? Yeah, I still smoke them, thanks. <laughs> Guess how much? Yes. Jeez, I don't know, uh, 10 bucks? 10 bucks, try 100. 100 bucks? Yep. Yeah. That you're gonna give to me. Uh-huh. He's Nick, I think I threw you out of your head once too often there, bud. Uh, no, man, man, for all time's sake, please. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Now, you boys, you stay out of trouble, huh? Too bad. Hey, Punch. Yeah. Trouble in the alley. How are you doing this week? Right. Let's get this hey, check this out. Huh? Ah, son of a bitch! Oh. That was a hundred dollar cigar. Or a couple of fifty dollar cigars. Give me a hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, please. <laughs> so this happened a couple of years ago. This guy comes into the bar, huh? real rough looking. 
Lost an eye in a fight. Anyway, he comes in here, starts talking all kinds of shit, you know, just yada, yada, yada. Finally, I gotta go up to the guy and say, hey, listen, Cyclops, I've taken out a million guys like you, and frankly, I'm bored. So I'm gonna fight you. But this time, I'm gonna make it interesting. Interesting? Yeah. You can use whatever you want. A knife, uh, a broken beer bottle. Hey, a gun, if you got one on you. All I'm gonna use is this. Well, the guy looks at me like I'm from another planet, huh? That? What are you gonna do with that? Dig a tunnel and try and get away? <laughs> you know what happened? You know what I did? I guess he never saw that coming, huh? Jimmy, come here. Pick a card. Oh, go ahead, they're not marked. Okay, what do you got there? All right, hand me the phone. The phone? Yeah, the phone. It's not just something I used to hit guys over the head with, you know? It's got other uses. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, I forgot to warn you about Punch. He'll keep you here till morning, if you could. I gotta bugger it off. Night, Charlie. Night. Yeah, is Ace there, please? Yeah, I'll hold. Ace, punch. Here. How'd you do that? <laughs> Wanna see it again? Yeah. your sermon, Reverend, very much. Come for the sermon, stay for the games. Uh, pardon me? The games? The big, the big screen TV oh. we had put in. And where is the game? Downstairs, uh, ladies' parlor. Oh. Cowboys, Packers. Packers. I think we would have had a bigger turnout. Mm. So it's come to this, huh? You know of another way we can draw them in? Sometimes the voice of God is not a loud, booming voice. Not a bolt of lightning, not a sudden revelation, but a low, enticing whisper. As if the beyond, knowing that it can draw more flies with honey than with vinegar, sweet talks its way into the soul. Such is the seduction of heaven. And now, let us bow our heads in prayer as we prepare to bestow our weekly offering. This is unconstitutional. Even with a search warrant, this is really unconstitutional. Yeah. And so's this. Ace, punch. 
Here. Son of a... <laughs> okay, okay, you're a good kid. I'll let you in on the secret. I got a buddy of mine on the other end, huh? When I say his ace there, that's when he starts in on the routine. He starts rhyming off the suits, right? Hearts, clubs, spades. When he gets to the right one, I say, yeah, a whole. So then he starts naming off the cards, right? Ace, king, queen, jack. When he gets to the right one, I say, ace, punch. So he knows. Then of hearts. Meh. How much have you made off of that? Jeez, over the years, I don't know. Enough to retire to a small house. Well, why the hell would I ever want to do that, huh? <laughs> hey, Jimmy. Have a word with Punch? Alone? What do you mean, alone? Hold on, Charlie, you're not coming out of the closet, are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just leaving. See you guys tomorrow. Well, take it easy, Jimmy. You know, I like that one. He's all right. Have a seat. <laughs> Have a seat? Sit down, you and me alone? Hey, level with me, Charlie. You're not letting me go now, are you? Remember what I always used to say? That if anybody forced me out of business, I'd have to sell you as one of the fixtures? Well, I'm not going to sell you as one of the fixtures. But I am going to have to let you go. <laughs> Charlie, you can't be serious, can you? Afraid so. They got me punched, did the rights. Who's got you? Nobody you can bounce, unfortunately. What are you talking about? Here's an interesting fact. Did you know that prohibition was repealed over 70 years ago? Nobody told me. Because that's what I get for not reading the papers. <laughs> so what? You know, a guy like you, you'll squeeze out of it, eh? So they shut us down for a couple of weeks. So what? That's for you, Punch. 25 years of loyal service. Jesus, Charlie. This can't be happening. There's got to be something you can do. Which part of dead to rights didn't you understand? Fuck. Oh, oh, Christ almighty. Charlie, the bar. And this is everything to me. What the hell else am I going to do? Get a life. How about that? Find a woman. Settle down. Raise some kids. What, are you serious? Sure. Every Sunday, you and Mrs. Bouncer and all the assorted little bouncers come visit me in prison. Prison? Here's another interesting fact. They got this little thing called the Income Tax Act. It prevents uh, club owners like moi from pocketing the profits from their secret stock. You learn something new every day. Yeah, but something like that. I mean, sure, they can shut us down for a couple of weeks, but They'd never be able to make that stick, can they? For Christ's sakes, Punch, you're a bouncer. So? So you of all people should understand. What? For every hoot, holler, and yahoo, there's a split lip, a flat nose, a smashed collarbone. You should know that. You've been making people pay the price for years. Anyway, I had my fun. I always knew that maybe someday it was going to end. Didn't you?
all those guys I tossed out of Charlie's place? Not once did one of those guys come back to give me a hard time. You know, now I know the truth. All those guys I tossed out, well, now they own the bars, right? Think they're gonna hire me? Hey, do you know how to make a Turkish coffee? Punch, look around. It's an Irish pub. Uh, it's hard to find in this town. <laughs> Strong as camel's breath, that stuff. It's the best cure in the world for a hangover. My old man used to drink it all the time. <laughs> Imagine that. My old man, a Greek, drinking Turkish coffee. <laughs> but when he came to this country, you know, he couldn't even speak a word of English. The only job he could find was driving a taxi from this cab company owned by uh, Turks. <laughs> they used to hire the Greeks, send them to the shit neighborhoods, get beat up, robbed. Hey, if you think I look bad. <laughs> My old man, he would show up with bandages around his head and a split lip. <laughs> Goddamn bastard Turks. One time he comes home, he's got a broken arm. At this point, I'd had it, huh? I'm in my last year of high school, Mr. Tough. I wander into the, uh, into the cab company, and I beat the shit out of the owner. And I mean, I, I beat the shit out of him. <laughs> I put him in the hospital. And I go back home, you know, I'm all proud. I think my old man's gonna be proud. <laughs> you should have seen his face. I thought he was gonna die. He cried. Huh? Told me how he was, I was gonna get fired. How he was never going to find work again. I know the feeling. Punch! Rolly! Remember? Rolly? Rolly, how the hell are you? Hey, you want to smoke? Hey, that's great, thanks. So, uh, you too, huh? That's the world coming to, crashing down around us. <laughs> Well, that's what happens when you fire Atlas, huh? <laughs> you get it? So what you been doing? Polo, yachting, seeing the world? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Same as you. Why, uh, you got something for me? Yeah, broken back. You need one? No, thanks. I got one of my own. I heard about Charlie. Is he okay? Okay. Son of a bitch didn't even bat an eye. All this time, I thought I was the tough one, huh? Thanks for the smoke. Ah, it's good to see you, Punch. I can't get over all of this. I mean, look at you. What, you don't like the uniform? <laughs> so? How was it? Tell you the truth, I'm really enjoying myself. <laughs> well, of course you're enjoying yourself. You're in prison. <laughs> no, seriously. There's, there's a lot to be said for forced rest. <laughs> so how's it going with you? How you been? Jeez, you think I was the one behind bars? Look at you, you're all smiles. Me, I'm, uh, I'm miserable. Having a hard time adjusting, huh? Well, everybody meets their match, Punch. Even you. Uh, excuse me. Huh? Uh, sorry, uh, this is gonna sound strange, but can I, can I borrow you for a second? You want to borrow me? Well, yeah, it's just that I got this huge deposit to make, and this is kind of a dangerous neighborhood, so I wonder if you could just watch me for a second and I just go in and make the deposit. Just, just 30 seconds. Is that okay? <laughs> sure, lady. 30 yeah. seconds, I'll give you 30 years. Go ahead. I'll Thanks. watch your back. Thanks. That's fine. I never took a tip in my life, except at the track. No, no, no, no. Final offer, please. No, uh, final no thanks. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Well, you said yourself, this is a dangerous neighborhood, right? Yeah. 
So how come you didn't think I was a, a dangerous character? <laughs> Something funny? Oh, please. You look about as threatening as a non-alcoholic beer. Anyhow, after that, I went back to school. Oh, a schoolgirl. Mm -hmm. Still have your uniform? No. It's in my professor's closet with the rest of my junk. Oh, I see. So once that whole stinky affair was over, a girlfriend of mine offered me a job in her travel agency. Well, it sounds like your work career was a day at the beach compared to mine. But what is it you do anyway that makes you so transient? No. Wait. Don't tell me. Let me guess. Go ahead. <laughs> you are a musician. <laughs> <laughs> A musician? We, you think a guy like me is a musician? I know you're a musician. Uh -huh. Well, look at your hands. Oh, yeah. Beautiful, aren't they? Mm -mm. They're toughened from years and years of practice. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. So what else could you tell me about me? That you're kind and you're romantic. You're sensitive, and you're a teddy bear. Teddy, mm -hmm. not grizzly. Mm -hmm. Plus, you're of Mediterranean descent. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> and this remarkable ability that you have to read people, mm -hmm. where does that come from? It's a gift. Oh, thanks. At last. I finally found a place that serves this. Turkish. Well, listen, thanks a lot for lunch. <laughs> and here I thought uh, people who told you your future only hung around in tea rooms. Judy <laughs> Reed. Punch, Alexi. Punch? punch? Yeah. Oh, after the literary magazine. Is that the idea? What? The magazine. You know, the, the, the English humor magazine, Punch? Oh, the, the magazine. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, you see, because uh, um, my old man, yeah. you know, when he moved here from uh, from Turkey, Turkey yeah. right, he, uh, he stayed with this English family, and uh, the only thing they had to read around the place were these uh, were these magazines, uh -huh. Punch. Oh. So uh, he used to read those, and they used to call him Punch, and Punch, <laughs> Punch Jr. Oh, wow, you people in the arts have got such colorful backgrounds. Anyway, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. Claims she could read me like a book, only she's illiterate. <laughs> <laughs> you know, since you've been coming here to visit me, this is the this is the first time I've really seen you happy. You know that? Yeah. <laughs> hey. Then why don't you call her up? What? Come on, why not? Just never go for a guy like me. <laughs> what? A one-legged Turkish tap dancer? <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, you know, you're not a bouncer anymore, Punch. You know, you, you can't fight these things. You gotta just go with the flow, you know? Go with the flow, baby. I'll get it. Hi, Judy. Hi, Jerome. Uh, you're late. You said 8 o'clock. It's 8.15. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Come on in. Oh, you look great. Thanks, Jerome. Is your mom ready yet? No, no, she's gonna be a while. Oh, so I have to have your cigarette? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. here, let me get that for you. <laughs> Thanks, Drew. Drew, Drew, it took the cave people less time to come up with fire. Come on, let me show you. Here, you see, you just... No, no, I'll do it. Oh, all right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Drew, God, you're gonna set the house on fire. Careful. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Uh, well, Tad's check's late. We could use the insurance money. <laughs> Hi, Judy. Hi. I'm ready. You see, Drew, it didn't take your mother long at all. So this is what God looks like Monday to Saturday, huh? I can't 
can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> they could see me now, huh? Oh. Don't forget, son, 10 o'clock. He was very eager to get us out of the house. How is he? And no tricks. I might just come home early and surprise you. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Drew. Bye, Judy. See you real soon. God, Judy, I feel like such an idiot. Why? Well, look at the way they're dressed in here. And, you know, at church, I preach a sermon and all the men are drooling over me. And I come to a place like this and I'm like a wallflower at a high school dance. Oh, relax. Everything is fine. The dress looks great. Just go with the flow. It'll happen. Did I tell you I met a guy this week? No, in one of your classes? No. Well, tell me about him. He's, he's cute. He's kind of... Well, he's my size, right? He's smallish. Yeah. Not really my type, but he's he's funny. He's kind of kind of sensitive. He's funny. He's neat to be with. God, Judy, you are so lucky. Mm -hmm. Lately, I've started thinking all men are alike. They just have different faces, so I can tell them apart. <laughs> Look at us, two intelligent, attractive women, twenty something in this life. <laughs> What are we doing here? Look, what is the point of my being a schoolgirl again if I can't occasionally behave like one, huh? Mm, I'll drink to that. Cheers. Ladies, would you care to dance? Oh, I I'd love to. <laughs> Very often I meet a man who can really dance. I don't know. I think that kind of thinking's outdated, don't you? Men being rough and tough and all of that stuff. I mean, did I miss a meeting or didn't that sort of thing go out the year they sent mice into space? So, uh, what do you do? Me? I'm a columnist. Left of Center magazine. It's liberal, open-minded, perfect for a man like me. So what do you do? I'm a minister in a church. So what do you do? Oh, dear. I've seen that look before. General Custer at Little Bighorn. Did you see that coming? He looked like such a nice guy. Oh, give yourself a break. Look, my husband was a Christian fundamentalist. Imagine my surprise when he dumped me for an exotic dancer. And he met at AA, no less. Look, relax. Anybody's radar can be off. Give me, haven't you? I'll give you half marks, Darren. I'll come back for my stuff. Oh, come on, you're still a man. <laughs> Whatever gave you that idea. Okay, all right, Judy. How many times do I have to explain this to you? Male menopause ritual. It spares no one. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm considering teaching a course on it. Well, that's a course you can truly call hands-on. <laughs> oh God. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Now these she can keep. Yeah, I know how hard it is to find them in children's sizes. For God's sake, Judy. Oh, okay, okay, I'm not the man you bargained for, but is it a crime to have depth and dimensions and contradictions? No, it's a crime to sleep with a 16-year-old. Hey, hey, 19, she was 19, Judy. You know what, Darren, you want to consider teaching a course in mathematics. When I think of all the things you made me do, do you have any idea how hard this was? To talk you into? Yes. Yeah, it still wasn't enough. Judy, I'm gonna get through this, and when I do, I want you to consider coming back to me. Okay, Darren. You're right. You know what? I can't just leave like this. All right. All right, I'm coming back. Really? Y you are? Mm-hmm. This suitcase is already full.
Maybe we should get a priest. What about that Catholic church, the one just up the street? Catholic? George went to the same church we did. Well, I know, but... Well, I don't think that minister we have right now is particularly suitable but for, for this occasion. Ruthie! Well, I'm sorry, but this calls for, for dignity and decorum. Speaking of dignity, is that your lowly opinion of your brother? I beg your pardon. That that's why George started accompanying us to church, just because they came up with some minister who could read the Lord's Prayer like Marilyn Monroe. George knew he was dying, Ruthie. He picked that church because he was looking for salvation, not titillation. I'm sure of it. Hello, is Judy there, please? Oh, this is Judy? Hi, Judy Reed. Yeah, it's, um, it's Punch calling. Punch Alexi, it's, uh, the, the, the guy you met at the uh, bank machine. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, listen, um, you know that, uh, reading that you gave me? Well, um, I, I'm pretty sure that I paid for the full hour. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, dear Lord, please help to guide George Irving's loving spirit as it rises, as it um, rises from this troubled planet up, up, up to the kingdom of heaven, as it travels the way of all flesh and one with you, dear Lord, stands like a beacon and is made acceptable in your sight. Amen. No, I've had girlfriends. It's, it's just that doing what I do, mm -hmm. it's, um, it's difficult for me to be decent to them, that's all. Mm -hmm. I mean, they want a home and a family. That just wouldn't be fair. Do you know what I like about you? What? You are non-threatening. <laughs> Am I? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, until I met you, I was actually starting to think that all men were animals. But even my best friend's kid, Drew, he's about the nicest kid in the whole wide world, but last Christmas, his father sent him... They're divorced, right? Okay. His father sent him this weird space gun, you know, the kind that shoots out these little weird pellets? It's actually quite a neat design. It's made so that no matter which way you aim it, all the pellets end up somewhere underneath the living room couch. <laughs> anyway, five minutes. Five minutes the kid has the gun. He's a totally new kid. I never knew a 12-year-old kid could have so much testosterone. And that is what I like about you. When it came to testosterone, God just sent you this little tiny tester. Turkish coffee? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, you love that Turkish coffee. Thanks. But you know what? That just gave me an idea. We should go on a picnic. A picnic? Yeah. <laughs> In this weather. <laughs> Fun. We could get all bundled up. And you know, you could go to that great little Turkish deli. You know the one on Rito? Pick up all kinds of nice Turkish delicacies. How do you say, deal? Huh? Hello, Drew. Oh, hi, Mom. Guess you're home, huh? Uh-huh. And I'm sorry that I came home. Drew, I need to talk to you. Come in here for a minute, please. I told you, Mom, we're in the middle of a game. I just came here to get another glove. Your friends can wait. Now come in here and sit down. Come on. Now I thought I told you before I left that you were not to leave this house until you cleaned your room. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Mom. That's the first thing. The second thing is this. Where did that come from, Drew? Biker babes? Nobody sold it to you, did they? No. Well, then where did you get it? Was it somebody's dad's? I don't know. I don't remember. Well, you think, Drew, you think very hard. Oh, yeah. A recycling bin. Okay. Now, 
I'm gonna try and explain something to you, Drew, as best I can. God made our bodies to be admired. That's true. But there is a difference between God and, and the publishers of that magazine. Does that explain anything? Yeah, sure, Mom. I'll put it back. Just a minute. No. I know that you're going through some changes right now. I mean, you're 12, hormones, that kind of thing. But I don't want you going through those changes without respect for others. Do you understand what I mean? Okay. Now, I'm gonna trust you to take this magazine and put it back in the recycling bin. And this time, I hope it stays there. Okay. Ondan sonra oraya gitti ve <gülüyor> hiç olma bir şey yapmadı da ondan sonra oraya gitti. <gülüyor> i̇şte sen sen bunu evet ol. Çok mersi. O bir şey diyor değil bir şey değil. Al sana bu sana için evet. Evet çok mersi. Bir şey değil beyefendi bir şey değil. Çal. Afiyet olsun afiyet olsun. Buyurun buyurun buyurun. Can I help you my friend? Uh, yeah, um, what is this uh, stuff? Stuff? You don't know traditional Turkish cuisine, my friend? Oh, geez, you think I'd recognize some of it. Oh, we have everything here. We have uh, pilic, imam bayıldı, revane, çok çok. Yeah. What's this stuff here? Looks like it was cooked in bird shit. Bird shit? You say bird shit, my friend? You know my wife? makes this food, not some bird. I don't need ignorant customer in my store. You go bother Afghanis, the Koreans. I don't need you in here. Get be, ya sen get. I don't want hey, you pal, in store. I happen to be Turkish. You, <laughs> why don't you say so? Nah, see, just, uh, it's not first generation is all. But arkada biraz çay var, içeriz. Yeah. My sentiments exactly. Now I'll uh, I'll take some of that bird shit. <laughs> bird shit. You're very funny. <laughs> you think I try poison you? It's not bird shit. It's intestine of goat. How much would you like? Aren't you gonna eat them? Me no. I'm I'm stuffed. Really? Well, all you've had are the grape leaves. Yeah, I'm just trying to lose some weight. Oh, come on, eat it. It'll go bad. How will we tell? What is it anyway? This is a goat intestine. It's a traditional Turkish dish. What? It's cooked in yogurt. Oh, God. I'll try anything once. I want to see you eat it first. No, I'm not hungry. Well, go on, go on, eat up. I've never seen anyone eat goat intestine before. Come on, I'm sure your mother cooked it for you all the time. Oh, eat it. For me. <laughs> oh my god, that kid just took my turn! Thank Christ. For this, you little son of a pay for this. Pay for this, my eye. You. So what you're getting uh, little kids to do your dirty work now? Little. Not so tough about your spoon, are you?
Just a special plan. Hmm. It's gonna speed up the healing process. Oh, yeah? There. But that guy'd kill me, what, you to come in here and put together a wreath? Oh. Uh. Pretty soon your lips will be good as new. What's <laughs> <laughs> so funny? <laughs> it's just a... Well, it's just... It's all these plants. Mm -hmm. And the two of us. Like Adam and Eve. <laughs> Everything brand new. No past. No baggage. No problems. <laughs> you know, I think you were right all along about me. What about? About me being sensitive? You like your lips? Smart cookie. Or as we say in Turkey, uh, <laughs> torta. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me something I didn't know. <clears throat> Sometimes the voice of God is a different voice, one that is strange to us. But after a while, we become attuned to it, and it is sweet, heavenly music. Thank you for coming. That was very nice, dear. Very nice. I am so glad you enjoyed it. Mabel Norman slipped in the bathtub. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. She can't play cards this week. Would you be our fourth? Me? I... I would love to. Yes. <laughs> we can even have it at my house if you like. Oh, fine. See you Wednesday then. Yourself. Thank you very much. And how about you guys? What would you like? Would you like some cookies? Help yourselves to some cookies. Hi, Judy. Oh, hi. Andrew. Oh. <laughs> uh, I got you a cup of coffee. Tea. Oh. <laughs> That's great. I haven't finished the first one yet. Oh. It's, it's hot. Real hot. Mm -hmm. Good. Thanks. So, uh, nice dress. Thanks. God, you know, you're always so full of compliments, Drew. Uh, well, how's work? You know, work? Work. Work's fine. Fine, hey. thanks. Hi. Aren't you supposed to be helping out with the bake sale? Oh, yeah. yeah. Bye, Judy. See you Bye. later. God, what a great kid. Uh-huh. You try asking him to do the dishes for you. <laughs> What worked? My attempt at getting everybody away from saying you were making love to me, Alan, but you were thinking about the minister. <laughs> the senior ladies invited me to play cards with them. <gasps> Congratulations. Hey, great sermon, by the way. Thanks. Now I just have that other problem to sort out. What? Well, it's not just that I need a man anymore, Judy. Mm -hmm. It's true. What? growing up faster than I can keep track of it. Oh. He needs a positive male influence, you know? Mm -hmm. The other day, yeah. my sister's kid came over. Uh -huh. Catherine. She's 13. Oh. Sweet. I caught them together in Drew's bedroom. What? They weren't doing anything, you know, but still, Judy. Maybe Punch should talk to him. Punch? Mm -hmm. You want a guy named Punch to talk to my son? No, no. <laughs> Trust me. He's perfect. He's the guy. Well, what do you want? Some sexist male asshole to talk to him? Punch is your man. Trust me. No. No way. No. Drew, I just want him to talk to you. That's all. I'm not going, Mom. I'm not. All right, what is it? 
I've been doing my damnedest to be Mr. Nice Guy to you, and I don't get a word out of you. Well, where are we going? A concert or something? A concert? My mom said you were a musician. <laughs> she did, huh? We ain't going to any concert. Are you taking me here to kill me? What? Is that why you brought me here? To kill me? Listen, kid, I only pick on people my own size, for the most part. Now you listen, Drew. I'm gonna let you in on the best kept secret in town, but you gotta keep it between you and me, you got it? Right, anything you say. You're a 12 year old boy, right? Right. Well, guess what? So am I. Hey, nice shot. Little advice, though. Keep the string away from your face. Like this? Yeah. Otherwise, it might snap back and wham, right in the face. And take it from a guy who knows. I was drawn back once, and then boom! Black eye, bleeding nose. <laughs> I've been in Christ, I don't know how many bar fights, but I never look like that. So, so keep it away from your face. It's only six years to your prom. I can Some minister now. Bitch. <laughs> Good. So, how do you do it? Okay. I used to work as a bouncer in a bar, right? And that's another little secret between the two of us, so you don't live to see 13. Anyway, I'm working one night, and I'm tired, you know? I don't feel like fighting. But then this big American asshole comes in, right? Starts making trouble. And I think to myself, how am I gonna shut this guy down? So I go to the bartender, right? And I say to him, hey, give me a cold one. And he hands me a glass of beer. And I hold on to this beer for 20 minutes. And I start talking to the guy about everything, right? I start talking about football and baseball and hockey. But I make sure I talk to him for 20 minutes. You know why? Why? Because I need 20 minutes to hold my finger on that glass. I figure after 20 minutes, that finger is going to be like ice. So I put the beer down, and I say, hey, you don't think I'm tough? Then I take the cigarette, and I hold it on my finger. And I last for about a minute. Then I throw the cigarette away. The guy backs right off. I'll tell you something, Drew. Tough. It isn't here. It's all right here.
Thanks a bunch. I had a really good time. Yeah, me too. See All you right, later. See ya. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. I almost forgot. What? We were supposed to talk about girls. Girls? Uh-huh. Oh. Okay. Listen, Drew. I know what's going on. You do? Uh-huh. Oh. And I just want you to know that as far as I'm concerned, it's okay. Really? <laughs> sure. Everyone loves girls. It's only natural. So what? Even... Judy? Judy? Judy? <laughs> Let me tell you something. If I ever caught another guy looking at Judy, and I'm a pretty tough guy, you know what I'd do? Huh? What? Nothing. Nothing? My girlfriend belongs to the world. I mean, we're just guys, right? Really? Really. Oh. Thanks, Bunch. Really. Thanks. I had a really good time. Me too. We'll do it again sometime, huh? Bye. my reputation all over again, huh? <coughs> Did you hear? The new minister had the senior ladies over for gin. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not very good at jokes. <laughs> so this isn't a joke, then? Come on, Ruthie. I'm sorry, um, ladies, and the Mrs. Felix, Miss Carr, and Mrs. Davis. Registered for ballroom punch, not for emergency room. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, I just can't believe a musician would have such crummy timing, that's all. Oh, I got rhythm. It's just that, the, uh, you know, the rhythm that the guys and I play, it's it's different. It's, um, it's like a... It's Turkish? Hey, it's regional. <sighs> anyway, uh, you, well, shall we try it again? Sign my cast? Yeah, I'll even sign your neck brace. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? And up. And, and oh, turn, turn, turn. And five and six and seven and eight. And one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. <laughs> not bad. It's not bad. Okay, first things first. Susan, Walter, a couple of times you look at each other is no, no, remember? Huh? It's hard. I know. But if this is big competition, you look at each other like that, you lose the points big time. Now, for you, punch huh? is good. But what is the word? It's uh, not... Uh... Aggressive enough uh, is technically correct. 
But there is no fire. No try. <laughs> <laughs> Something funny. What is funny? Oh, that's like telling the Hells Angels to wear more pastels. Aggressive, huh? Huh? You want to see aggressive? Play it again, Yan. you something yeah sure anything go ahead well I mean it's kind of sensitive so <laughs> like my lips okay I've been wanting to ask you this for a while but I oh no forget it forget it you're gonna say no forget it forget it forget it look you don't know everything go ahead I might surprise you okay okay I want to know if you want to go to Greece with me Greece yeah with you Hell, I, I'd love to go to Greece with you. Really? Sure. Well, because last week when somebody mentioned the Greeks, you said they were a bunch of goat-loving sodomites, so I kind of thought, you know. Oh, well, you know, it's, it's, everybody calls them that. It's just that, um, you know, the way I look at it, you know, a, a guy like me, um, um, sensitive and all, that, um, you know, I should be willing to let uh, bygones be bygones. <sighs> God, that is fabulous, because there's this wonderful package to the travel agency. They just need two more people to fill it. Where have you been all my life? <laughs> Mostly back alleys. <laughs> Bye. Guess what? Yeah, yeah, I'm in therapy. <laughs> it's, uh, it's ironic, isn't it? Me back on the couch? Only if there isn't a blonde on it. It's doing me a world of good. Mm -hmm. Remember all those things you thought about me when we first met? That I was a respectful, intelligent, caring man? Well, it turns out, well, it turns out you're not wrong. You were just premature. Premature. Premature. I suppose that'll be the next boy thing you go through. Judy. I'm not as shallow as you think I am, you know. Wasn't there a compact in here? Yes. Oh, what, what, did you give it to her, the blonde? No, I wouldn't do that. I have it for you right over here. Well, what are you doing with it? Camera test. A what? A camera test. <laughs> University's getting its own TV channel. You know, if you sleep in, you can catch the course on the tube. The dean thought I'd be a good candidate. Stop it! I, I wanted to look good. It's TV, you know. You know what, Darren? You're right. You're not as shallow as I thought. <laughs> so you don't want it? It's okay, I'm not afraid I march in this brave parade With all the souls who crawl back up 
You bet despite their crazy luck Who choose to love in an angry age Refuse to bend to spite or rage Who aren't afraid of bad reviews Who don't care if they win or lose Hi, what you doing? Sitting here in the bubble bear. Yeah, you want to come over? I've been here all night. Someone from the church phone. They said one of your frocks was stolen. Oh, well, well thank you, Drew. Um, you go back to bed, honey. We'll, we'll talk about this in the morning. Oh, God. One of your frocks? Oh, uh, Drew's an altar boy. I'm, um... I'm in charge of the uniforms. We're going to Greece together. Greece, huh? The old homestead. So I guess, uh, I guess she knows everything. Who you are, what you've done for a living. Not exactly. Oh? Well, I tried to tell her, it's just... Just what? Ah, oh, Christ, Charlie, after you slam some guy's head into a sidewalk, you've thrown some idiot through a plate glass window, it, lying doesn't seem like that big an offense. <laughs> You're scared, aren't you? <laughs> First time in 25 years somebody's made Punch Alexi afraid. Woo-wee! Back to work! What are you gonna do, put me in jail? Really? Great! But he, um, doesn't know. He doesn't know. Oh, he doesn't know? No, oh, it's not so great. Oh, God, Judy, I've been so lonely, and he seems really nice. And he asked me what I did for a living, and I... I fibbed. Fibbed. Lied. Lied. Oh, dear. Well, what are you going to tell them when they find out? Well... I don't imagine that the senior ladies' gym club is going to be too surprised. <laughs> no. As for the rest of them, well, I hope they'll understand that I'm human, I'm mortal, I'm just like them. I mean, this is not the Catholic Church, after no. all. It's the Church of Open Arms. So now they're going to add legs to their repertoire. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway. That's not all. What, there's more? Uh, Drew, um, caught us in bed together. Oh. oh. I haven't been able to bring myself to talk to him about it. But between that and those things he keeps bringing around the house. What, you mean those playing cards? Yuck. No. I mean... This magazine keeps coming back like a case of poison ivy. Oh, God. It's one of those ones where bikers send in photographs of their skinny girlfriends. Oh, Judy, I have no idea what Drew sees in those things. Darren. Oh, Dean Forsyth. Looking good, Darren. Looking good. Yes, sir. Well, I'll be watching the big premiere in the faculty club. Oh, that's wonderful. Glad to hear it, sir. <laughs> Just checking on that horseshoe up your ass. <laughs> Very good, sir. Very good. Not to worry. If there's one thing I know, it's, it's how to hold the room. <clears throat> Professor Bly, we're ready in five, four, three. 
Good afternoon, I'm Professor Darren Bly, and this is Psychology Level 2, Course 202, Sexual Propriety in the Modern Age. Welcome. Now, this is a psychology course, but we should note at this time, this particular topic touches an endless number of society's nerves, be it political, cultural, physical. And uh, as students of psychology, uh, we are faced with a daunting question, specifically the task to find a universal definition for sexual propriety. Now, the best place to start for something like that, the beginning. I want to talk to you. Judy? Judy, I'm just right in the middle of something I here, don't give actually. a good goddamn if you're negotiating a peace treaty between the Arabs and Israelis, Darren. Now. Later would really be better. No, no, no, not later. Now! Now's good. Let's do it now. Um, I'll be right back with you and you. God, when I think of the things you made me do, Camping out under your desk so I could swallow your sword. <laughs> Pulling your goalie during the student-teacher floor hockey game. She's joking here, I don't know. What you a... made me do to you with that broomstick? My God, if it weren't for the third-year engineering class, we would still be there today. Is that a door? We could... but this, this, Darren, this really takes the cake. Sending those Polaroids that you took of me to a biker magazine. Okay, the yeah. only thing worse that you have done is the time you made me spritz you into the Dean's wine glass at his inaugural dinner, no less. Do you know what is the difference between you and all other men, Darren? Everything! <laughs> well, point made, huh? <coughs> um... I'm, I'm sorry, where was I? Uh, I believe you were discussing sexual propriety in the modern age. Exactly, exactly. I figured out when I'm going to come clean about everything in Greece. <laughs> Perfect place, am I right? Listen, don't be so tight about it, Punch. Yeah? Now, since I've been in here, I've been doing a lot of reading, history books mostly. Homer the poet, you know who he was? He's about 10 different guys. Alexander the Great, big statuesque warrior? No. Turns out he's under five feet tall. So I wouldn't sweat it. It's not like you're the first Greek that's ever been misrepresented. Yeah, there's something we need to talk about. Well, because you're, you're gonna lose a whole lot of respect for me. That's why. Me? Lose respect for you? That's, that's impossible. You know, any more than you would lose respect for me. No matter what, you know what I mean? Am I right? You know what, Punch? I just, I just don't think that we should see each other anymore. What? Look, it's not you, it's oh. me. No, no, it, it's just that I'm not who you think I am. I'm not the mature, intelligent, respectable woman. I, I am far from it. What are you on about? I'm on about page six or seven. I don't care if you're the employee of the month at Hooters. I mean, so what? This guy, this, this, this, what's his name? Darren. Darren. Okay, so this Darren... Bly. Okay, so Darren Bly got you to do a few things that maybe you didn't really want to do. You know what I say? Who cares? Really? Who cares? You are so understanding.
Taryn. Yeah, Judy. Hi. What are you doing here? Well, I heard what happened. I guess some jealous boyfriend finally caught up with you, huh? It's bound to happen sometime. Yeah. Just never figured it would be one of yours. My what? Oh, please. Don't pretend you don't know what's going on. I know love is blind, but... What? Are you trying to tell me that you think Punch did this? Oh, <laughs> please. You are sadly mistaken. Am I? Am I? Oh, yes. I mean, I don't punch like the back of my head. He would, he would never do something like that. Oh, no, no. Not somebody named Punch. No, he probably just got that name from making too many mixed drinks. My fault. That is, that is somebody else's boyfriend who did that. Like your bimbos. That girl who orders from the child side of the menus, it was hers. Okay, okay. Just, you know, this, this punch of yours, just, just let me guess. Um, short, gray hair, dark features. Well, congratulations, Darren. You've just described every cab driver in the city. Oh, Judy, you know, you are, you're naive. You're so naive. What, what would you have said if someone approached you while we were dating and suggested that maybe I was the type who might send in nude photos of you to a magazine? What would you have said? <sighs> yeah, you see? You, when are you gonna face the facts? You were a wonderful woman. You are very mature in many ways. Really, you are. But deep down inside, you were as emotionally screwed up as I am. You are so wrong. I knew you'd say that, I knew. Okay, so you go ahead, you, you go out and you just, you, you ask him. You go, track him down, ask him where he was yesterday. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll wait here. This is gonna be great. <laughs> you know, I've been doing a lot of reading. I can't wait. I think I know everything there is to know about the Greeks. And you know something? They're not half bad. <laughs> I don't know, I must have been blind. Look, Punch, uh, I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> well, what do you mean you can't do this? Well, there's some stuff I need to know first. Like what? Like what happened to Darren Bly? Oh. You actually did that? Oh my God. What do you expect a guy to do? Shh. After what that asshole did to you? I've snapped necks for less. Hey, all I did is what you would have wanted to do if you had to testosterone, am I right? No. I thought you were different. I am. I am different. I used to be like that. One of those guys. Always leading with my fist, but... But you changed me. You taught me that I'm, I'm, I'm caring. I'm understanding. I'm... Honest. I'm... Honest. I'm not a musician. I can't even play the triangle. The truth is, I'm a bouncer. In bars. What? For years. And you know something? I never got hurt. And you know why? Because I used my head up until now. See that? My old man came from a little town just like that. He's Greek. I'm Greek. My whole family is Greek. We hate the Turks. When I was working in the bars, these two guys used to come in all the time to watch me bounce the bums out of there. You know what they used to call me? Atlas. Well, you know Atlas, right? Strongest man in the world, right? The guy who could hold the earth up on his shoulders, right? Well, you know, compared to the image I gotta hold up all the time, the image you project onto me, the world seems like a pretty light load. Good morning. How are you this morning? Good morning, sir. Good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I'll make two this morning. Two? Please. What are you going to catch up when you read? <laughs> no, actually, I, uh, I finally succeeded in bringing my oh, husband. Oh, he's the holder. <laughs> Only man in town, the minister hasn't pulled in. Good morning. Good morning. Sir. Good morning.
Drew, honey, could you get me some more cream for my coffee? Yeah, sure, Mom. Thanks. Hello, Amy. Hi. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful sermon. I enjoyed it thoroughly. Oh, thank you. And so did my husband. I think it was more than your voice. Uh, honey, honey, honey. Jake, this is uh, Amy. Amy, it's Jake. Pleasure. Hi. Let's see what else you can do with them, huh? <laughs> Long time no see. Well, I, um... I think we should keep it that way, don't you? So this is what you do when you're not working for the government. Must be hard holding down two jobs. Look, let's just say that night was a game of charades and drop the whole affair, okay? Charades felt more like Twister to me. Oh, here's your coffee, Mom. <clears throat> God, Drew. Drew, honey. Mom, just don't forget it. Drew, listen. No, Mom, don't. I know, okay? I know. Yeah, I think you do know now. You know that it's a lot of confusion, a lot of misunderstanding, a lot of heartache and hurt. There. That was it just then. Best sex education you'll ever have. Okay. She left you, huh? Yeah. Geez, I'm sorry to hear that punch. Me too. Didn't even leave me a Dear John letter. I guess she didn't know whether I could read or not. Was it when you broke the big news? Actually, it was when I broke something else. Anyway, I haven't heard from her since. Just another chump I bounced, I guess. Well, it's like I've always said in the past, no good time comes without a split lip or a cracked rib. I know. It's easy for you to be happy. You're in prison. Me, I'm at the mercy of the outside world. Well, if it's any consolation, I'll be getting out soon. That'll be nice. Listen, Punch, I've been approached by a couple of guys. You know your buddy Nick and his friend? They want to reopen the club. Really? Mm -hmm. And since nobody knows more about the place than I do, they want me to be the manager. Just the manager, mind you, not a partner. So no more homemade hooch. Hey, that'd really be something. And, of course, we're going to need a bouncer, because I can't imagine a lot of the old riffraff won't be showing up, and I don't think it'd be right for them to get thrown out on their asses by a perfect stranger. You? So what do you say, cowboy? You want your old job back? And stay out, you son of a bitch! Next time, I'm keeping this. Tell me, Amy. Have you ever thought of talking about infidelity? Infidelity? Yeah, you know. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, all that stuff. Uh, because I think that everybody who attends would be very interested to hear what you have to say about it. Um, Catherine. I know I was interested. Riveted. When? When Jake told me all about it, all about the two of you. Catherine, look. Well, it was bound to happen with one of the men, sooner or later, I suppose. Catherine, let me explain. No, I... I am... I am grateful, Amy. Really, I am. Is this some kind of a joke? Well, the Lord works in mysterious ways. So I guess it only makes sense that you would, too. You know, this is the first thing that has happened to me since I started going to church that I actually got. It showed me that I 
have the capacity for forgiveness. To forgive you, and to forgive Jake. And that is important. Because I figure if I can do that, then maybe I can learn to finally forgive myself for everything that I've put myself and the whole rest of the world through in those days when I was drinking really hard, before I came here looking for answers. So th thank you, Amy. Whatever you do, don't leave the church. I need you. Hey, hey, look who it is. Buyurun, buyurun. Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. arkada çay var. İster misin biraz? Listen, I'm going to be honest with you, pal. I'm not Turkish. You're not Turk? No. I'm Greek. Yeah. You got a problem with that? Oh, yeah, mother, yeah. Hey, listen, I didn't come in here for the friendly service. Now just give me some of that bird shit and I'll be out of your hair, okay? Look, my friend, he's okay. You know why? I'm a liar, too. Look, look, you don't want this. Wait. Here. Have this. What's this? Greek salad. I am Greek, too. What? Look, it's too many Greeks, too much competition. So, I am Turkish. <laughs> well, listen, all the same, you know, I really developed a taste for that goat intestine. Oh, hey, sure, sure, my friend, whatever you like. Hey, look, you know, <laughs> between you and me, It's nice I have someone I can be honest with. Thank you, my friend. If I ask them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 9.30, Drew, no later. Otherwise, I'll get the neighbors out looking for you. And I don't mean the nice one. I told you, Mom, I'll be home by nine. Bye, then. Bye. Great time. Oh, hi, Drew. Hi. Gotta go. Oh. Oh, God. I must be such an embarrassment to that kid. It's not you. He's going to the movies with a girl. His first date. <laughs> Great. Two down, two to go. You're not going like that, are you? No. Thank God. It's hard enough for you to score on those white pumps. Thanks. Actually, Judy, I'm, I'm not going at all. I'm so sorry. I tried to call you. Look, I've been thinking about this all day long. What am I out there looking for? Somebody who's going to accept me as a minister and a person. Flaws and all, right? Mm -hmm. Well, this week I found that person. Really? It's not a man. It's not about men. But I found somebody who helped me understand what's really important to me. So why should I go out there and subject myself to all that senseless humiliation. I mean, what kind of a hard-hearted masochist would that make me? I can trying to get my testicles to descend. What? You remember about 86, those, those two sumo wrestlers came in here? Uh, yeah. Well, one of them, he taught me this technique, and you massage your testicles, and they go up and in. And then you can massage them a different way, and, and they come back down again. And then after a while, you don't even have to massage. You can just make them go up and down like an elevator. <laughs> I'm sorry. What's all that? What happened to you? 
I think I got caught between floors. <laughs> Going home before me again? Yeah. It's not like the old days, is it? No. You know, I thought I'd be happy back here. I thought, okay, paid the price, now it's time to have some more fun. But with, uh, you know, people always looking over my shoulder like this. You know. Oh, well. You know what I have half a mind to do with this float? Just you and me. We just go fly off somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where. Just, just go and do it. Start over again. You interested? It depends. You got a new body to go along with that? <laughs> Here. Make sure you put it in the bank. for a second. I... Judy. I've got this big withdrawal to make, and I understand there's some pretty dangerous characters in this neighborhood, so I wonder if you could just stand by and watch me. Judy, I... No, no, no, no. It won't take a minute, I promise. For you, you do take tips, don't you? It's two tickets to Greece. I hear there's some pretty wild guys over there. I'm sure they could use someone to look out for them. Judy, I, I, I don't understand. No, no, no, no. I misread someone, that's all. You were mis misreading me. That was my fault. No, no, no. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about me. Punch, any trouble at the bank? Oh, yeah, she's with me right now. Greece, huh? Not with our deposit money. No, no, no. I'm going to leave that for you to abscond with. <laughs> well, what can I say except congratulations, I guess. Greece should be pretty romantic around this time of year. That is, if your nuts ever drop. <laughs> Take care, Punch.